Oh, I'm so scary with my chainsaw. Let's see how big your shield is. Oh, you've got a chav with you. I might quick scope the chavs. Like from here. No scope them even. Oh, they've gone round. I'm trying to get swag points here. No scoped. No scoped. Oh, please give me more space. You can't run with that chainsaw, so can you? You can. Ring around the rosies. I'm pretty sure the chainsaw's one hit kill. Use that, get some distance. Yeah, so much distance, bro. Nice. I'm gonna have to pop two here. I need to kill this guy. Quickly. Quickly. Oh no! Oh, the dodge! Get absolutely shrecked, son. Fuck. You! Wow. Intense. Intense, when you say folks. <laughs> Are you guys feeling the intensity? What are you doing? You're in the wrong way. Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what awaits us up here? The light, that's always good. Who is this? Barry? Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Barry? Barry, I'm going to save you. I'm going to save you, Barry. Don't worry. I can be your hero, baby. Mm -hmm. I still had to reach Barry at I the can gap, kiss but at least away I was out of the woods. Pain. Oh yeah. I will stand by you forever. You can. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster. And the headlights mm -hmm. were a welcome bonus. I can be your hero. Boom, boom. I can kiss away the pain. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Call it instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. I can hear something in one of my earphones. I don't know if it's in game or. I think it might be in game. Toilets. 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 In horror games. Not. Is this in even a horror game? I mean. Toilets in creepy games. Never been good. Let's talk about Silent Hill for a second. Listen, mate. I oh had dear. to find the key to the garage. Alan, shut up. It's here. Literally, chill. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Hmm. So it's evident right now that he's obviously, he's creating this story that he's also living in right now. And he needs to make it believable, you know. He needs to make it believable so... Like, Alice lives, basically. If he fucks up, then everyone's dead. Pretty hard task for someone who's, you know, should have right as well. Not happen to that. Can we... Alan. This is important. 
Ale... There we go. Come on, get it through. Alan, push. 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 Get the wheelbarrow through. Oh no, I think I blocked my... I think I blocked my way out. Oh no. This is why we can't have nice things. Alan, get, just forget the wheelbarrow, go through, go through the door. Oh shit. See, why is the wheelbarrow there, if that's gonna happen? Why would there be a wheelbarrow in a bathroom? Move. God damn it. Oh, why do I do these things? Game over. Alice is dead. You wrote a story in the floor. Alan, the one that fucking put a wheelbarrow in this bathroom. That was the floor to the fucking story. Um, come on, you you are through. You can walk through that. Just, just, just walk through it, Alan. Oh, please don't make me restart from a checkpoint. Where's this nearest checkpoint then? God damn it! Oh, phew, phew. I don't even have to... I had to find the key to the garage. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts this. wanting things of its own. There we go. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A You're a fucking idiot. Why would you do it again? I just want it to fit through the door. One more, one more try. One more try, and then we'll carry on with the game. I had to find the key to the garage. A story right. is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast nice. with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its nice. own. Nice. Change one thing, and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a lot of things. Can you not? <laughs> you don't scare me. Eat dirt. Oh. Yeah, it would scare me if it wasn't the biggest cliche ever, Remedy. Saw your game out. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. I like your game. Send me free stuff. Get some car action on the go. Oh, press every button but B there. I remember the driving on this game isn't the best. But it's alright because I've driven in Dead Island and we all know how bad that game was. Driving. Don't need to know how to brake. Where am I going? What are you doing, Brand? Where are you going? What are you doing, Brand? I'm not gonna stop for the manuscripts, I'm guessing there's loads laying around, but it's so spooky, I don't want to get out. Move, bitch, get out of the way. Get out the way, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, get out the way. Those drifts. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> End of the road. I'm actually gonna get, go down to that little place down there. <laughs> well, no, you know what? You're not gonna go anyway because you're a fucking idiot. Sorry, right, you can run that. You don't need a car for that. I feel like there could be a note in here. It's near. May as well be worth a look. 
Hopefully we'll get ambushed. Oh, there's another wheelbarrow. Oh wait, this is where Rusty got wrecked, isn't it? Is it is this Rusty's wrecking shop? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just go. Just go. Just go. Those noises are spooky. Super, super spooky. And um here at here at my channel we don't have time for spookiness, you know? Ain't nobody got time for that. We just need to keep pressing on. Alan mate. Get a membership for a gym. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You can't make the noise and not be anywhere. I don't understand, Flagon. Nice. The best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. What the fuck was that noise for? Noise. <laughs> Brent, get some sleep. Noise. Holy Moses, get sound hard. Oh, don't get sound hard. Ow, I'm hurt. I'm not using the flag. I know I'm supposed to. I'm not going to. I swear him nudging me just gave me health. I'm not using the flare gun, honestly. What a waste. What a waste, Bren. Sorry, you can take these two flapper chacks. Flapper jacks? Are they a thing? What am I thinking? Flapjacks. Flapper jacks. I don't even need to dodge against you, you freak shit. Right. Are you kidding me? Get fucking no skill, you freaks. I better use this anyway, because I know it's just going to get taken off me if I don't. And that will be sad times. Is this the same? Yeah, it's the same TV. Okay, so I'm close to battery now. Oh, jeez. Just hit my mic there. One sec. Sorry about that, friends. I'm trying to itch my head and I just knocked my mic out. Sparked it out cold. Barry, I'm coming. with the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. Not done? I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, get me. Yes. Yes, I, I get you. Don't be scared, Alan. We'll get this guy. We'll make this punk suffer. Not before we read this manuscript. Ooh, a nightmare page. I think not supposed to be hard to find. That's the only nightmare page as well for this level. Well, whatever. The dark presence had touched the girl to lure the writer into a trap. Now it was night, and he lay helpless, drugged lit only by the flickering of the TV screen filled with static. Shadows coalesced in the room as the dark presence leaned close to the writer, ready to touch him again. Back to work, boy. Hmm. Very interessant. Maybe that was about the rose? Who knows? Oh. Maybe a bit of a stretch. Birds over the Holy Jesus. Yeah, a bit of a bird problem there, Barry bit of a bird problem. Nice. I won't need guns for this. Birds are just... Birds just need light to die. So I should really... Hmm, I could get away with maybe not using anything. I'm pretty sure it's gonna get taken away anyway. You never get given this much stuff and then get to keep it. Alright. 
Don't worry, Barry. All's on the case. Don't you worry about it. Let me just master these stairs. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. You don't have to kill all these birds, by the way. That would be crazy. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Nice. Ah! Where are you? Uh. They always come from the direction I'm not bloody lucky. Hey, Barry, do you mind? Mind letting me in, actually? That would be really nice of you, dude. Bird Shooter Simulator 2014. Bird Wrecking Simulator 2014. God damn it, I timed that really poorly. Come on then, come on then. Three, two, one. <laughs> that was still time really poorly. Seriously. Just hurry up and die. You die one by one, slowly. Oh, where are you? Oh my lord, this is the least intense battle ever. <laughs> oh! Ow! You freaked me out by looking behind you, you absolute... knob wreck. Uh, he said knob. Oh dear, where have all these come from? Lay off it, mate. Stop. Oh no, I'm gonna die to these freaks. Oh, thank God for that. Alright, you could have opened the door before, mate. I could have just done that out the window or something. Would have been safe. Hey, Al. I'm, I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. It's okay, dude. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. It's funny how life works, Alan. Hey. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the old dear diner. Good. Girl. This bitch.
Rose. 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 Is this died? I, I, I don't know, you know. It's probably copyright, though. Ha. Here. Oh, 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 oh. I think this may be Rose. Rose? I mean, Dido. But I don't know. I'm just spitting. I'm not ripping. <laughs> uh. End of episode two. There we go. Let it sink in. How far we've gone on this journey so far. Nice. It's a good bit of music here. Well, I'll peace out for now, and I'll I'll get chapter three on the way. Hopefully, the audio wasn't too loud. Whatever, it's very close to me. The mic, that is. I'm sorry that I spouted a lot of shit today. I'll try and be in better better circumstances next time I record. Have a nice day. All night. Make sure you keep the lights on. Close the curtains. Don't let the darkness in. Don't let it consume you. Stay safe. Brent Lewins. Out.